Ladies, gentlemen, welcome to my guide for the tier 4 challenges for the dispatch missions. First and foremost, if you haven't seen my general guide with all the tips that you should be knowing about all the contact missions, please check it out before watching this, as it will give you more insight of most of the strategies that we'll be using in this video. For this video, we'll be predominantly just focusing on the missions themselves and what strategies you should be using. The Shield the R in terms of weapons is a heavy revolver Mark II with hollow point rounds, as well as a shotgun Mark II with flechette rounds. In dispatch one, we want to take cover behind the car that we brought. Then we want to wait until each individual agent walks out and then shoot them one by one. Obviously, because we're playing on console, we can just pop in and out of cover and just do a quick shot just to go simply back again. Generally speaking, there's about four cops that will walk out, so please do be patient before you make a move. Whenever you see that no more cops are making their way out, which didn't happen in my case, because, you know, I was too impatient. You can then start moving your way towards the police station itself. Now, for some reason, cops get a little confused when gunfire is coming from the right and they decide to look to the left. So, easy pickings here, pick them all off and then make your way inside. While you make your way inside, grab yourself some proximity mines to make the later stage of this mission a lot easier. You can place them in whatever location you see fit, as long as they're kind of in the roughly the same location as I'm putting them. After you walk down the stairs, you want to take cover behind this wall, and then use your shotgun to make quick work of the cop that is coming towards you. You want to do the exact same one more time, by just using your free aim instead of your assisted aim, because, well, you won't be able to lock on at that angle. One more proximity mine for good measure, in case the cop will come later. And as you can already see on the screen, an explosion has already gone off. After the target is down and you have to make your way back up again, equip your shotgun and get ready for a fight. The proximity mine over there is rather useful as it took out a cop. You can throw down another one or two, depending on how many cops are coming. In this case, it probably is best to do it at your own discretion, considering that the spawns can be random at times. Just simply keep an eye on your radar and anticipate any sort of cop coming your way as you can see on the radar and my end there i can see the cop coming that way i can throw down a proximity mine and then kind of hope that they're going to be triggering it for me and well you guessed it they did two cops down and i can make my way up to the stairs where there will be another cop waiting for me again the shotgun will be an excellent way of using this because at close quarters this is going to be devastating do be careful for those burning bodies though they might set you on fire after that, you want to take a quick peek to the left to make sure there's no cops standing in the hallway. And then you want to make a run towards the roof. Because guess what? We're going to be using a helicopter. And before anyone worries, no, this is not a random spawn. It will always spawn here. Dispatch 2 is probably the most difficult one out of the bunch when it comes to losing health. Accuracy is always going to depend on yourself anyways. You want to bring a sniper rifle with a suppressor and then wait until this guard stops in front of the gate. It is at that point that he is no longer able to be spotted by the other guards. Shoot him down in the body because you don't actually have to go for headshots even with a regular sniper rifle. And then make your way to the security checkpoint over here because guess what? You can hop over this wall. Then on your left you'll be able to see another guard, shoot him down with your suppressed weapon and then make your way to the next guard which is over here. Shoot him down with your sniper rifle and then move up to another guard which you'll be finding on this set of stairs here. Once the guard is down you can actually use the current position to take out a further two guards which will be on your left as well as on the far left in front of the door. Moving a little bit more to your left will allow you to get an angle onto further guards which you'll also be able to snipe down. The reason why you want to take out as many targets as you are is kind of for the later stage in the mission. You will get alerted as soon as you get to the boss but the less targets there are going to be in that area the less likely it is you're going to get shot. After taking out all those guards you can make your way towards the target. It's a good idea to still shoot him with a suppressed weapon because the guards that are next to him will get surprised and you actually have a little bit more time to spare in order to make your way out of the chaos because the moment you kill the target the alarms will go off and everyone will start gunning for you this is the point where you want to start becoming a little bit more careful you want to start using cover as much as you can and utilize your revolver that make quick work of anyone that comes remotely close to you take out as many targets as you can before making a move by diving into the water with a scuba suit so if you don't have one yet, definitely go grab one at the clothing store because it will basically mean that you'll be able to do this mission without barely taking any damage. Also, whenever you're in the water, just stick to the ground. The helicopter will not be able to hit you and just keep swimming until the mission is over.
Dispatch 3. Um, yeah, shoot an RPG at the plane a few times. Get back in your car. Lose the cops while still in LSIA. And leave LSIA. Leave a like if you want to have more useful guides like this. In Dispatch 4, you want to be bringing a assault shotgun with a suppressor because you really want to be going for body shots because some of those targets are going to be next to each other. If you're wondering how I'm just able to flick between two targets so quickly, uh, use something called Assisted Aim Full. You can switch to that while in single player. That way you'll be able to do, uh, well, this. Basically, keep shooting them until you are at the target, and that's basically the mission. You will exit from the point where you came, so you don't have to bother with even more enemies. In Dispatch 5, you can find yourself a helicopter at one of the blue helicopter icons on your map. Make sure to grab one, it will save you a bunch of time while doing this mission. It's a maverick, it's nothing much, but it will get you from A to B. In the footage, you will see me use a jet to get from A to B, but I'm really only using that for transportation, just so you know. Starting off with the target in Vinewood, the guard here I took out just to be sure he was not going to move towards me. And the next guard, definitely you have to take him out because, uh, yeah, he's going to see you if you walk past him. The main target himself you can actually get to really easily just take cover behind this wall and then just squeeze yourself in between there use your shotgun and just leave that that's that's it the target in the apartment complex is really just a matter of like getting an angle on him when you have the high ground and just shoot him with your revolver and he'll be dead for the helicopter target the best option here is going to be either an rpg or a humming launcher in the gameplay i used an explosive sniper you can also use this but you don't want to miss too many shots because obviously it will affect your accuracy for the target of Vespucci, you just kind of want to grab a car from the street follow him and just throw a sticky bomb until he is dead don't worry about missing sticky bombs by the way because sticky bombs don't actually affect accuracy and the final target is going to be on top of the construction site uh, yeah don't worry about them shooting you they only have melee weapons so just yeah kill them and move on if you missed a few shots it's probably a good spot to farm for some accuracy by the way after the target is down just jump off the construction site with a parachute and mission complete Dispatch 6 is a bit of an odd one. I'd say that if you don't have any like weaponized vehicles with lock-on missiles and stuff, Armor Kruma will do you nicely. What you want to do is just get close, wait until the doors of the riot van open, and then just use your heavy revolver to shoot them down. The target will only take one shot to kill, so just take your time and make sure you don't miss, because it's probably going to be two shots in the entire mission that you will do, so yeah, be careful. But if you feel like getting this mission over and done with in 30 seconds, you can also use an oppressor mark too. Or anything else with luck on missiles. Have fun. And that's it for the guide. Thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed it or found it useful, make sure to leave it a like, subscribe for more. And if you really like what you see on the channel, become a member. Like Chloe, GTA Plus, Left Lane Looney, OnlyFans when we do it, Notorious Jam, and the Vinewood Car Club. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all later.